you you know how people in their Twitter bio, excuse me, in their X bio, because it's not called Twitter anymore, but people will put uh, retweets and likes are not an endorsement. And usually people put this if they work for a company, but they don't want to get in trouble because they like or they retweet the wrong thing or something that doesn't necessarily agree with the company's policies or standards or whatnot. They want to let it be known like, hey, just because I retweet it, it does not mean that I agree with it. But with J.K. Dobbins, that is not the case. That does not apply. J.K. Dobbins, through interviews, uh, through tweets, <laughs> and through likes, but through his actions, we have seen, especially recently, that it does not seem like J.K. Dobbins is at his best with the Baltimore Ravens. It doesn't seem like they're in the best place right now, their relationship. Uh, we've seen J.K. Dobbins say, hey, like, hey, talked about the business side. I remember maybe like about a month and change ago, he talked about, hey, I want to be in Baltimore forever, but I, I just don't know how it's going to work out. And then with Melvin Gordon uh, in the interview that he did uh, with Goon, Goon, he confirmed it. Melvin Gordon confirmed it. He said, hey, J.K. Dobbins sitting out, but nobody talking about it. They over there, they talking about Jonathan Taylor and he's getting all the attention, but nobody talking about my teammate, J.K. Dobbins, sitting out. So with J.K. Dobbins, he's not in a good place right now with the Baltimore Ravens. I think it's safe to say that. And a lot of us felt like he may be sitting in, um, but Melvin Gordon just pretty much confirmed it yesterday. But anyway, uh, J.K. Dobbins, he added a little fuel to the fire because Live Raven Nation, and shout out to Live Raven Nation because they keep all Ravens fans updated on everything going on with Twitter. On Twitter, excuse me. But they tweeted yesterday. They said, according to a recent article, Ravens' new running back, Melvin Gordon, has revealed that J.K. Dobbins is sitting out. Gordon goes on to say that they're not even making a big headline out of it. So, of course, we covered that yesterday uh, in that article uh, on BaltimoreBanner.com. Uh, so, Jordan, or Jer at Jersey Nets 8 on Twitter, he replied to that. He said, J.K. is always hurt, man. Can you please just play a full season and then ask for your bag? So, again, I mean, self-explanatory what his tweet said uh, and what he meant by it. Because he didn't pull no punches or whatnot. He basically saying, hey, J.K.'s always hurt. And, and can you finish a full season? Can you play a full season and then ask to get paid? Ask for your money then. So then, BZ, at BZ, at BZ EST 92 he replied to that. And he said, this is comedy because before he met the Ravens training staff, he never missed a game. He missed one season due to malpractice by his coaching staff. And all of a sudden, he's always hurt. You're a funny guy. And guess who liked that tweet? Not the other two, but guess who liked that tweet? Mr. J.K. Dobbins. Now, we know a lot of these players, uh, especially social media, and it's, it's easy for them to run into stuff about themselves because a lot of times people will tag them and whatnot. But um, J.K. Dobbins was looking, he was looking up his name and he found that and boom, he said, oh, oh, I like this. Boom, slap that like button. And you know what's funny? A lot of people will say, oh, it's just a like on Twitter. That don't mean nothing. Oh, we, we know that it does. Because players nowadays more than ever, they express how they feel about stuff, how they feel about certain certain situations uh, via social media. It happens all the time. I mean, us Ravens fans, we just went through this whole thing with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. And we saw a lot that was expressed via social media. There was the trade request. There was all these different emojis and whatnot when things were bad. But then even when things were good from both Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. So it happens more than you realize. But with J.K. Dobbins, it certainly happens. But th this tweet that he liked, um, it was a direct shot uh, at the Baltimore Ravens, the, the, tra the training medical staff, but also at their head coach because that was John Harbaugh's decision in that uh, preseason game to play J.K. Dobbins because he wanted to just he wanted to play the starters just for a series. And it unfortunately didn't work out. Now, it's easy. It's very easy to be like, man, he should have never played the starters. He should have never played them. They should have never been out there. They're, 
And I get that. And, and I can agree with that. Hey, well, maybe you shouldn't have played them. Should have waited. But you wanted to see them full go because the offensive line, it was a full offensive line. J.K. Dobbins was playing behind starters. So you figure, like, hey, we well, playing behind the starters so he will be protected. But it was a miscue, I believe, by Bradley Bozeman, who was the starting center at the time. Uh, he missed the block, and that was all she wrote for J.K. Dobbins that season. So, um, and again, he said, he missed one season due to malpractice by his coaching staff. And all of a sudden, he's always hurt. You're a funny guy. Uh, now, he has, of course, missed a little more time than just one season. Um, but that was the most time that he missed at once. Um, but J.K. Dobbins, that's been his thing. That's been his thing. That, that is the, the, hurt, the hold up right now. Because, again, like we said in yesterday's video, we know J.K. is a baller. We know he can play. We know this dude can make stuff happen. The Ravens are a better team with a J.K. Dobbins right now than without. J.K. Dobbins is nice, man. We all we talked about everything that he can do in yesterday's video. But it's just you got to be there. And even, even last year, see, the thing about J.K. Dobbins, if you go back to last year, when he uh, he had came back, but he wasn't his normal self yet. Ravens held him out at the beginning of the season for a little bit, uh, and then when they finally like really let him play, uh, he he was okay, but he wasn't the J.K. that we all know. And he was still he was a little bit slower. He wasn't as uh, he ain't had a, the, the the wiggles like that as much as he used to. Uh, but then he went and got a little cleanup surgery. Now, Harbaugh said that it was J.K.'s decision uh, And whoever decision it was He got a clean up surgery It happened And then when he came back He looked a lot better He looked a lot better He still wasn't his 100% self yet Because there were some plays Where it was like Oh, J.K. He probably, probably should have scored a touchdown there But he kind of like slowed up at the end And got caught from behind On a couple of them and whatnot uh, But that's why hopefully this year He'll be good to go I'm not sure what the situation is right now Because again He's on the physically unable to perform list Still and who knows if that's who knows what it is um but that's why this year is expecting big things from him and again with me i said in my opinion by the way that the offense seems to be headed that jk dobbins big thing this year if he does play for the baltimore ravens um it will be efficiency because I think it's going to be more of a passing offense. But the running backs will still be involved. The J.K. will still be involved, but just in different ways. So when he does get his opportunities, I think it's just about him making the most of it. And it could work out really good for him, especially as a running back, in this uh, expected offense, in my opinion. Because if the Ravens are passing the ball more, they will be spreading defenses out. If the defenses are spread out, then running back, look at that like, oh, man, this defense, they not crowding the box like that. Oh, this is my season, baby. Let's go. So he could have like a higher average. Uh, but anyway, I I, um, I was interested in something when, especially with all this talk about J.K. Dobbins always being hurt and whatnot, him missing a significant amount of time in the NFL. And I wanted to see for myself, but I wanted to go back to the college days, like, well, did J.K. really get hurt like that? Did he miss a lot of time in college, too? What, what was the case? So, and y'all let me know if there are any inaccuracies with this. Uh, I looked it up, and it said J.K. Dobbins, in his uh, history, uh, he has had three um, significant injuries. Three. All on the same leg, but three significant injuries. And the, the dates were as listed. August 26, 2016, he wasn't in the NFL. I said Dobbins uh, suffered a broken fibula in the season opener on August 26 in the Leopards game at Liberty Hill. Uh, he had surgery and missed his entire senior season. So that's high school. That's high school. Back in 2016. Wow, it seems like so long ago. That's seven years ago. Wow. Seven years ago. Uh, but anyway, so that's one injury. That's, that's in high school. So then next injury that it listed was December 28th, 2019. Also, still not in the NFL yet, because remember, that was, that was Lamar Jackson's his MVP season. J.K. Dobbins wasn't there. But anyway, uh, he suffered a pedal ankle sprain, a grade three. Said Dobbins suffered an ankle injury at the end of the first half of the Fiesta Bowl against Clemson. Bowl games are typically the last games of the season, so there wouldn't be any time missed with that one. Uh, so anyway, uh, well, I mean, he would miss the second half of the game, but... 
Anyway, uh, and then the next injury that it listed was August 28th, 2021. That's one that we're all super familiar with. We remember. Everybody remembers where they were at when we were watching that game. I was actually right here. We were live streaming a game and watching. And then we see the screenplay to J.K. Dobbins. He's running behind the offensive line. Then he takes a hit. And then he doesn't get up. He doesn't move. And he's on the ground in pain. And that will be the end of his season that year. Ravens had already lost uh, Marcus Peters and Gus Edwards on the same day that offseason. They lost them both for the year on the same day. Same day. Mm. That, was, that was a crazy year. But anyway, um, that was August 28, 2021. It says... Dobbins wound up hurting that same knee in October of 2022. So that now is talking about last year. It's talking about last year because again, remember Dobbins played for a couple. They held him out at the beginning of the year for a little bit, but then they started letting him play. But then this is saying that he hurt the same knee. I didn't hear that he hurt it, but maybe he did hurt it. Maybe that's why he got the cleanup surgery. Who knows? But again, he wasn't the same. But anyway, it says Dobbins wound up hurting the same knee in October of 2021. 2022 he underwent uh, arthroscopic knee surgery that month and returned for week 14 that was of course last season because he got the cleanup surgery got it cleaned up got it scoped out and then he came back and when he came back he looked a lot better so um those are all the injuries that it lists for jk dobbins career again all the same leg um but the most significant time that he missed uh yeah it was in the nfl so is that a coincidence? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I mean, according to J.K. Dobbins, him liking that tweet on Twitter, I don't think he thinks it is a coincidence. But again, um, it just seems like he certainly is just not happy uh, with his current situation. Uh, it seems like he's not happy with the Baltimore Ravens. And it just seems like, again, he's not in a good place with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, Obviously, these things can take any kind of turn. These things can change in the drop of a dime. They can change in an instant. Um, right now, my opinion, this is just me. I don't know anything from anything. Y'all know me. I'm an NFL outsider. No sources, no plugs, no none of that. But um, right now, I, I wouldn't think J.K. Dobbins plays for the Ravens this year. I would love him too, but the way things are going right now, because it just seems like Every day is just we get something new and is there's nothing good, nothing good. Um, but I hope that he does. I hope this gets resolved. I don't think there's going to be a contract this offseason or anything like that. Um, but it would be nice if this could get resolved. Uh, and I, I've been seeing a lot of people, a lot of fans. Oh, J.K. Dobbins, just go out there and play. Just go play. Go play. Quit whining. Quit being a baby. Da 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 da. -da. But people like they they don't always get it, man. People don't always understand it from a player's perspective. Cause a lot of fans they only look at it as fans. They don't look at it from a business perspective. Uh, they don't look at it from a, a, a contractual perspective and whatnot. They don't look at it from a a, a monetary perspective. Cause he, he trying to get his bread, man. He trying to get his bread, um, and he, he wants to get paid. This is the year where he can get paid. Uh, and he wants his money. Um, so, again, like I keep talking about, J.K. Dobbins, the situation that he's in is, is tricky. It is so tricky. The talent is there. He's a baller, but he has missed a significant amount of time. So I can see why Ravens will be hesitant to pay him money. Um, but they just they probably want to just see consistency as far as him being there. Because if he's on the field, we know he's going to ball out. We know that for sure. That's, that's no question. That is absolutely no question. Um, but they just want to see him there. Um, and again, with him being a running back, it's much different than being a quarterback, being a wide receiver and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how this whole thing goes. And, I mean, hey, who knows? Maybe tomorrow we'll get something else. Uh, but we're we still waiting on J.K. Dobbins to come back to the practice field, too. Now, one thing to watch out for, which will be very interesting, is the day, hey, maybe it could be today. Maybe it could be today, but it'll be interesting to watch for the day when J.K. Dobbins is activated off the pup list. When he's activated off, when he passes the physical and he's activated off the physically unable to perform list, 
what will he do then? Will he practice? Because again, hey, and shout out to Lamar. Lamar gave J.K. Dobbins that endorsement. Like, hey, we, we better with J.K. Dobbins. We miss our guy out there. Can't wait till he's back out there. You know, Lamar, Lamar gonna ride for his teammates now, man. You already know what time it is with that, man. So that was, that was cool to hear. Uh, but with J.K. Dobbins, so I don't think it ain't no it ain't no beef with his teammates or anything like that. Well, with Melvin Gordon, I don't know if it's anything like that. But with, with most of his teammates, hey, it, it, it's no problem with th- this. Is all business. This is just all business. Say nothing against his teammates. So, but I wonder if and when he is activated. Well, when he is activated off the PUP list, is he gonna practice then? What's gonna go down then? And then questions, a lot more questions will either be answered or there will be a lot more questions to answer. So we'll see when we get there. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And just like Melvin Gordon said, J.K. Dobbins is sitting. We out. Get it? Sitting out. Anyway, (laughs) I love y'all. We gone, man.